TNT, Redstone, and Lever. This isn't gonna go well. So, Trish, you're telling me that if I pull this lever right here, nothing will explode. Is, is that right? Oh. Well, I don't believe you. <laughs> Seriously, I don't believe you, but I'm gonna trust you. Uh, three, two, one. Oh, wait, someone's at the door. Give me a second. I'll be back in a second. It's probably just Craig with something interesting. It's okay. It's okay. It won't be two seconds, and I'll come back and um, probably blow up the whole lab. Right then, Craig, how you doing, buddy? Uh, what's that? <sighs> Yeah, I probably shouldn't ask. So, is that a pig's head? That's, oh, that's very strange. Anyway, what you got for me? You've got, oh, that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting a, a batch of redstone, an emergency from the hospital. Thanks, Craig. I'm going to read this when I get back in. Right then, Travis, I've got an emergency letter for you. Or is it? Is it for both of us? I don't really know. Let's give it a quick read. Here we go, doctor. Oh, it is to you. So sorry to write on your day off, but we need serious help. Some of your patients need seeing to, and you're the only one qualified to do so. Hurry to the hospital. Thanks, doctor. Charles, we need to go to the hospital. You're a doctor. It's got to be for your name. So we need to get to the hospital as soon as possible. There's no time to lose. This is going to have to wait till later. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Well, intro, here we are at the hospital, and it's looking pretty empty. I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going, so the logical thing to do is ask this beautiful young lady here, the receptionist. So, um, hello there. You must be the stand-ins. Well, well, yeah, yeah, we are. There's not much time to explain, I'm afraid, so get in there and help some sick people out. So, okay, let's do this. Um, just head through the doors, do your right, walk up the corridor until you hit the crossroads, and then take a left. The theatre is through there. Good luck. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Theater? What are they talking about theater? Trust, I have no idea what's going on here. Um, ah. No, don't talk about that. Come on, Charles. Come on, let's go through the theater. You're getting a little bit distracted here, buddy. Come on, come through here. You better remember some of your doctor schooling because we're going to theater. I thought this was going to be a simple task, but turns out um, it's, it's going to be involving theater, which is a little bit scary. So this must be the crossroads. We've got the, the mincing department. That's a little bit scary. I hope we don't need to use that. We've also got the, the sewing department. Again, quite scary. I hope we don't need to use that. And, ah, there we go. The theater. Let's go this way. And look who's in here. Surgeon Ralph. Let's take a look at this guy. How are you doing, Surgeon Ralph? I'm guessing we need to talk to you. Come on, Trish. You're being very, very slow today. Right then, Surgeon Ralph. How are you doing, buddy? All right, we've we got a new quest. That's cool. Well, well, I don't know how you ended up here, but you've got the job. Yes, I don't know how we ended up here either. We needed these patients cured. Grab some overalls on your right, and then you're ready to go. Amazing. These are mine. Oh my goodness, these are mine. These are going to be incredible. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. A complete surgeon outfit. I'm going to look amazing. Trust. Trust, where are you, buddy? Oh, why are you out here? Oh, oh, <laughs> you look amazing. Oh my goodness, you got changed as well. Look at your hat and your mask. Your your nose doesn't quite fit in the mask, does it? So you just kind of have to flop it over the top. But you look incredible. I guess you've already got normal doctor's overalls on, so you don't need the green ones. And yeah, we're looking incredible. We're looking ready for the part that we need to play in this theater. So, so let's get to it. We're going to have to look at the quest. And oh, I didn't even notice this guy here. Greg. He's our first patient. Let's find out what Greg needs. Let's go into quest. First patient. This one should be easy. A simple extraction. Oh my goodness, he's got a golden bullet inside him. Poor Greg here has been shot. <laughs> we need to get this out of him somehow. So we've got um, medication over here. A random empty jar. I don't know what we could put in that. And then we've also got, um, looks like we've got some tools as well. So we have the wake em upper. Oh dear, that's a, that's a baseball bat. We're gonna have to wake them up with that just in case they fall asleep. We've also got the just in case. Is that a is that a chainsaw on the end of a gun? That's incredible. I hope we don't have to use that. We've also got the gravity gun, which I guess kind of makes sense. We can move patients that can't move themselves very, very easily. And then, um, oh, yeah, we've got the scalpel as well, which I'm guessing is the one that we need. So, Treos, I'm gonna give this to you because you're the doctor around here. So, um, you can extract the golden bullet, right? Uh. What, what do you mean? Uh. What do you mean you're not a doctor? You, you got it before your name. <sighs> oh, then these guys have messed up royally, but it's too late now. We've kind of accepted the job. Um, I guess I'm going to have to do this myself. Greg, it's time to extract the golden bullet from you, buddy. Oh, no, Greg. Greg, you need to you need to stay on the table, please. You need to stay on the table. I need to get this bullet out of you. There we go. Oh, there it is. Look, did you see it? It bounced right towards me. Got the bullet. Yes, look at that. Quest complete. First patient, we've got the golden bullet, and oh, I've just remembered, that has just been inside a human being. That is, that's a bit gross, but um, here you go. 
Here you go, Ralph. I've got the golden bullet. I did it perfectly, but um, I hope you didn't notice that the guy died. Um, that's not good. I got the golden bullet, though. Right, that's one patient out of the way. Next. Yeah, I don't think he noticed, Trailers, that the guy died, but um, we did get the bullet, so that's good. Right, then. next quest. We have another patient to have a look at. Right, then. Please don't kill this one. Oh, he, he did realize. <laughs> we just need a little bit of flesh. Just a tiny bit. The extraction chamber should do it. So we need one strange meat from our second patient. Now, um... I don't see any more patients around. Ah, oh. oh, that's a good point. That's a very, very good point. Let's see through here and see if we've got any patients waiting. Oh, we might do. We've got uh, Dill. Oh, second patient. Look, it says right next to his name. His name is oh. Dill. How are you doing, Dill? You're going to be in safe hands today. And then we've... Oh, then we've got you. What are you? Uh, you are a very scary human being, sir. So, um, Dill, we need you to come with us, but we need a way to transport you. So, let's go ahead and grab the gravity gun from over here. So, let's grab this. And we should be able to transport you without you picking up any random germs or just... It's just going to be a nice way to travel. So, um, Dill, come with me, buddy. We're going to the extraction chamber, which is a place where I didn't really, um, I didn't really want to use today. But it looks like we're going to have to now. We're not going to need to fully extract him. We just need to take one little bit of flesh off you he must be in for dna testing or something so let's have a look at this we've got um oh wow we've got definitely got blades in there very dangerous blades Try us. oh my goodness do not come near this this is a very very dangerous machine i'm gonna need you just to stay there buddy there we go and um dill i'm afraid i'm gonna have to um take a little bit of um flesh from you buddy so if you just quickly jump in and jump straight out you should be fine so um there we go oh there we go jump out no jump out dill dill no all the blood oh no this is gross dill you need to jump out buddy oh Oh, oh no, um, Treros, this went, this went horribly wrong. And we've completed the quest, but we've got strange meat everywhere. Oh dear. Yeah, I think you're right. We should, we should just, um, pick it up and pretend he went home. Um, we can just say that we were, we sent him home already and, um, oh no. Oh, Dill. I'm so sorry, Dill. I'm, I'm not a professional, but um, we got the strange meat we needed. We also got three emeralds. I mean, that's quite a win. I'm just going to tuck them into my um, into my top there so that he doesn't know that I've got those. But um, let's just tell Ralph that we sent him home already. Right then. Um, hi, Ralph. How you doing, buddy? We, we, we sorted out the second patient. Yeah, and we sent him home already, if that's okay. So, um, great. Where did the patient go? Uh, never mind. On to the next one. Yes. He believed me, guys. On to the next one. Right then. The third patient. Let's go for the third patient. Quest. He looks like a mob, but don't worry. This is the illness. A villager has half turned into a zombie. We must destroy it and rebuild him as he once was. So I'm guessing that they're talking about this guy through here. Yep, there we go. Half villager, half zombie. He's got a zombie torso and a zombie arm. I'm not really sure how we should do this. You got any ideas? <laughs> Um, oh, it's right right here, is it? The end. Oh, no. <laughs> Patient 4's in a box. Oh, he's next. But um, let's look at the end first. This isn't the normal end that we're looking for, is it? Like the normal Minecraft end. Patient goes in. Body parts left in the sewing department. This could be a good idea, actually. If we put him in there and then get the body parts sent to the, the sewing department, we can sew him up as a villager again and take out the parts he doesn't need right then sir this is going to be the perfect plan let's gravity gun you into the so-called end here we go you're going for a dip oh oh he's bleeding oh he's bleeding badly oh no i hope this works Treos. otherwise you're in terrible terrible trouble and he's gone hopefully he's gone to the sewing department right then Treos. this is all on you buddy if this doesn't work we're in major trouble and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You're in major trouble, buddy, if this doesn't work. You've burned a guy alive. There was blood everywhere. And I didn't see his body parts come apart. So, um, let's go to the sewing department. Here we are. This looks very, very daunting indeed. Looks like we've got this table here where we can kind of operate on them and sew them back together. Right then. Body parts. Yep, we've definitely got lots of body parts. It works. But we've got, um, right, here's the zombie torso and the zombie arm. We've got, we need a villager head. We need a torso, which is what he was missing. He had his legs already. He had one arm. He also had, um, uh, I can give him a second arm, and I think that's it. So if we go over to here, we should be able to place him together. So let's pop this there, this here, the legs here, the arm here, and the arm here. And there you go. Look, he's back to normal. Trust, we did it. Awesome. Let's do this. There we go. Beautiful. How you doing, buddy? How you feeling? Ah. No, no problem. That's perfectly fine. Right then, let's bring you um, down to reception. I'm guess I don't know what these other body parts are for. Should we start clearing them out? I think we should. Let's clear out. Um, let's clear out the cow legs, the zombie arm, and um, what else should we clear out? The squid head and oh, 
the quest is complete. I was going to say the quest isn't complete yet. We must have had to clear out a few body parts. Right then, let's get rid of this stuff. Otherwise, it's going to be clogging up my inventory. And um, you're going to come with me, buddy. I'm going to take you to reception. We don't need to report back with you because you're perfectly fine. So we've actually <laughs> we've actually killed three people technically, but we brought one back to life, which is this beautiful young gentleman down here. So let's put him just down here. And you can sit down here, buddy. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Right then, Charles. No time for a chat. We've got our fourth patient to um to deal with and we already know where he is we just don't know what he needs to do so um surgeon ralph we've completed it very nicely done right only one patient to go now okay number four is our last one and this one's a tricky one good luck right then fourth patient let's have a look here fourth patient here we go last patient well what's left of one this one needs stitching back together let's help another villager out you can find all you need in the theater this sounds like it's going to be tragic, Trios. Right then, let's go through here. We know he's in the box, which is a little bit scary. So um, let's open this up. We've... Oh, lots of... Oh, no, there's organs. There's brains. There's a heart. There's lungs. So we've already got... He said we need to put a villager back together. We've got a villager torso, a villager arm. We've also got the villager legs. Um, we've got this, which is a sewing machine, which I'm guessing we're going to need. We've got some bone needles and some string, which we're going to use as like a needle and thread to sew them together. We've got some emeralds, so let's take those. And I think we're also going to need... If we're going to need to make... Um, we're going to need to make an arm and a head. So we're going to need some eyes. We're going to need a brain. Probably some bones and some skin as well. So um, let's go ahead and try and sew this guy together. Right then, where is the sewing machine? Right, we've got the sewing machine on us. Uh, let's plop this down and... And open this up. Oh, Troas, there you are. <laughs> How did you get there? Anyway, we need to build this guy. So um, we're going to need bone needles and thread. I'm guessing this was where they're going because they've got like, the little shadows. Um, I'm going to ask Surgeon... Ra oh, no, wait. What's this? Rotten flesh. Where did this come from? This. Mo oh, no. Please don't say it's from... Oh, no, it's from Greg, isn't it? It's from Greg. That's gross. <laughs> Let's see if we can guess this. We don't need to ask for help. We're, we're supposed to be trained professionals. Right then. We're going to need a brain... We're going to need um, a couple of eyes. So the eyes go in front of the brain. And then we're going to need, I guess, some skin just to wrap it all up. No? What can we try? Let's try an emerald. We need to make a villager. No, maybe not. Maybe that's not how it works. What else have we got? We've only got arms. We've got strange meat. No, that doesn't work either. All we have is what's left from Greg. Let's, uh... Oh! That works. It makes a zombie head, though. That's not a villager head. Um... I'm sure they won't mind. I'm sure they won't mind. And I'm sure there was a, a spare arm in the body parts box. So let's go and see if we can put this guy together, shall we? Let's go around here. Treyos, will you stop doing that? You keep zipping through walls. It's a very good talent you have with that gadget in your pocket, but very, very scary. You're a bit of a slow walker, aren't you, buddy? But anyway, let's go through here and body parts. Yes, there is a villager arm. I thought there was. See, my memory is absolutely perfect. We've also got like a torso, chicken legs as well, and a, and a witch head. Oh my goodness, that's gross. Right then, let's put this guy together and see what he looks like. Hopefully, he looks enough like a villager to be able to get away with it. So here we go. Two villager arms and the zombie head. And let's uh, make this guy... There we go. <laughs> oh, no. Look at this guy, Churros. He looks absolutely incredible. Oh, no. <laughs> He's not really got the nose for a villager, but I think he could get away with it. To be honest, he came in a box, didn't he, really? So, um... He's looking a lot better for himself. Right then, let's clean up the rest of these body parts. And um, we should be done for the day. There we go. Look, fourth patient is complete. Let's pop these all up here. And let's take this guy down to reception. Oh, we can he can chat with the other fellow that we've got. Um, and explain where they came from, really. Because they've, they've obviously got different heritages. He's got a little bit of zombie in him. And this guy used to have a little bit of zombie in him. So let's put this guy down here. And these guys can have a good chat. This guy is not really... Not really a fan of where he is. But anyway, let's go, Charles. We did the final patient, and we actually did pretty well. Why are, you, why are you following me? You need to stay here, buddy. It's okay. You can just stay here. Like, Come on, Charles. Let's go. Oh, man. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I can't believe we managed to do it. Surgeon Ralph, we did it. Well done. That one was really tricky. I think you're done for the day. Thank you for the last-minute call-out. No problem, sir. Have a great day. Take your payment. And you can keep the uniform. Yes, we can keep the uniform. And we've got payment as well. <gasps> Five diamonds. That's actually pretty good. Trust, that's amazing. Right then, I'm going to put some of this stuff back because I don't want to take it home with me. Um, he said I can keep the um, he said I can keep the outfit, but we're going to put this back, 
And um, I'm going to keep these three emeralds, but I'm going to put the rest back in a chest. So come on, Treos, let's go. You need to give your outfit back. Oh, no, he said you can keep your outfit, didn't he? So come on then, buddy, let's go. I'm going to put this. <laughs> oh, that looks so weird. That looks so weird. Let's put all of the body parts back because we don't really want to keep that, do we? We don't want to keep all the strange meat either. So let's put um, all of these. Oh, I'll keep these emeralds. Let's put all of these back. I don't want to keep all of these body parts. And I'll keep the diamonds and the emeralds. Perfect. Right then, Charles, let's get home, shall we? Let's go to the left. And hopefully we don't well, hopefully we don't need to use the mincing department ever again. Um, see you, loyal patients. I'm glad you enjoyed our care. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and we are gonna make the journey home. Goodbye, receptionist. See you later. Woo, finally home. Wow, that took so long, but Churros, that was an absolutely crazy day. Let's go back. At least we got three emeralds and five diamonds out of it. Otherwise, that would have been a complete waste of time. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I dropped this book. <laughs> we, need to, we need to definitely frame this or something just to... Where are you? Churros? Where are you, buddy? Are you stuck outside? Oh my goodness, he's stuck outside. Oh, there he is. Using your warp again. Always. Always using that teleporter. But anyway, this book... Oh, wait, oh, wait a second. There's page two. I didn't read page two. Doctor... Thanks, Dr. Hein- Oh, no. Oh, no, Trust. They didn't even mean you. When they said doctor, I just- I just meant you. They must have delivered this to the wrong address. Craig must have done it wrong. Oh, no. That's a bit of an issue. Oh, well. <laughs> Whoops. Let's try this out now. Three, two, one. Oh. What do you know? We didn't die. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and if you did enjoy it, then please do leave a big fat thumbs up. And also, if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos and more videos like this. You won't find content like this anywhere else. This was a fully custom adventure, and if you would like to see more, then please do hit that like button and let me know. Again, thank you all for watching, and thank you so much for playing some Minecraft with us today, and we will see you all next time. Bye!